Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, The Christian Mechanic. Uh, today, I'm also, I want to speak about this Pittsburgh. It's a three-quarter drive. It's a round head ratchet. Um, I bought this because I had a couple of three-quarter drive sockets. I needed to do something at work. All right, not at work, actually at home. And I didn't have a three-quarter drive uh, to take it apart. So I bought this ratchet and a couple of bare sockets that I needed to uh, get uh, axle nut or something something to do with a, a nut on a car I was changing uh, maybe a wheel bearing or something but anyway uh, this is what I bought uh, this here is your reverse lever reverse lever sorry and um, I, I had this thing apart a while back and, and had put grease in it I counted the teeth count it's around 44 tooth uh, 44 teeth tooth whatever you want to call it uh, like I said, I, I painted it yellow because I was going to take this to work, but I ended up getting uh, a Craftsman uh, three-quarter drive ratchet along with a couple other ones. I got a, uh, not Armstrong, I got a Williams ratchet also, three-quarter drive at work and some other stuff. So I just ended up just keeping this at home, but I painted it yellow just so I could uh, easier to find my tools if I was working with somebody else and they had their three-quarter drive ratchet. Anyway, I said, I'm just going to open this up. We're going to take a look inside. Uh, any questions? Um, I don't see any other markings. One, it's uh, uh, stamped in here, Pittsburgh, no pro, no nothing like that. I'm imagining this thing is probably uh, chrome vanadium. Um, the knurling's pretty good. Nice, good grip on that. Like I said, it's not it's not too bad. It was under twenty bucks, I believe. It wasn't super expensive. And now this, it's a spiral spring around here, and I had already popped it off before we even. Before I started this video just to get it going but these are very easy to get off so say once you get it started you just work it work it around and she falls she falls right out and as you can see that the, uh, there we go and I put like a light a light grease inside this already and this is a single paw single paw action down inside there and there you see the uh, the uh, detent and there's a spring underneath that detent. That's what holds this in place. It's a metal switch, and inside is also metal. I've seen videos with these where the uh, the pieces inside are actually plastic. A lot of the new Craftsman wrenches have plastic internal parts in them, and they don't they seal them so you can't get them apart either. So <laughs> anyway, this has got one, two, three, four. It has five teeth of engagement at all time, and then the ball detent. It's not a, it's not super hard, but it's a, it's pretty good. And they like said to get this apart, you have to push down this this detent here and then uh, wiggle it out, pull it out to get it out. I'm not going to be pulling none of that apart. I just wanted to show you the inside of this. Uh, some of the uh, SK ones have the double paws, one on each side. This is just a single. Like I said, it's a, it's a cheapo ratchet, but it's um, a it's Pittsburgh, so it's lifetime guarantee. So you could take this back anytime, you know, you destroy it or rip it apart or whatnot. But like I said, I've had this thing for probably seven years or so now and um, used it a few times. And I haven't had no issues with it. No reason to uh, take it back or whatever. But if I did, I, could, I know that I could uh, return it with no, no problem, no question asked. Because I've taken back many a different things back from uh, the Harbor Freight. And they, uh, they, don't get, they don't give you a hard time about it. So that's a good thing. And I said, here's the spring that goes inside of it. And all you got to do is basically get this thing started. And then just uh, get her started and work it around. Yeah, it's a pain. A little bit of pain. Try this again. And once you get it going, it goes on real easy. But uh, like I said, this thing is coated in oil because I, I packed it full of grease a while back. And uh, now I'm getting <laughs> now I'm getting the grease all over my hands. That's probably why uh, some of the YouTubers wear wear gloves when they're uh, working on these ratchets. 
There we go. So you can say once you get it, once you get her going, she goes right back in, nice and easy. And you just use your little, pop it in there. That's it. Like I said, not a bad little ratchet. Uh, all right, everybody. That's uh, that's all I have for you today. Uh, like and subscribe, comment. If you have any other additional information about the ratchet, that'd be cool to, to find out some anything else. Uh, thank you and have a blessed day.